One of the basic items that I'll definitely recommend is, is a float, okay, with a flag on top. Because for safety reasons, you know, you've got people out there with boats and so on, it would be nasty to get struck by a boat. So, you know, this one here, again, about 50 bucks, 45, 50 dollars. You can get a lot better ones, you can get inflatable type ones, um, yeah, all sorts, big ones, small ones. But definitely don't go out there without a float. And for about for about forty-five, fifty dollars, too, your float should include the flag, and yep. it should also include um, two shark clips as well. Got the shark clip, yep, which you can attach your um, your line onto. So the line, the line, actually attaches. This attaches to my gun. I've got another shark clip on my gun. So this is what we use to um, put inside the fish's gills after they've been speared and that goes up through the gill, up through the mouth and it follows through. You re-clip it and then as you're swimming along this the fish will actually slide up your line and go right up to the end to your float so that the fish are up the back of the float and not hanging around your body. Which is good for sharks. Which is, yeah, <laughs> yeah because I have I have come in and actually had uh, my fish just the heads of my fish that I've captured on the end of the float with no body, something the sharks come up and actually grab the fish, left me the heads, and I didn't even realise anything had even been there, you know. So, and um, that's called a uh, a slide bar to some people, oh, yeah, or a bit more old school terms, an eye popper. We used to call them eye poppers in the old days because they were a lot different. They had sharp points, and we used to pop it through the the fish's eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but again, with this equipment, once you buy it. You've got it for life, pretty much. You know, you buy it once and you've got it. It, it lasts forever. You know, it's stainless steel. Also, a good idea is uh, with the floats. The idea is that boats know that you're around and you're potentially uh, under the water, or you know, they could even be coming on top of you, which uh, has happened. Um, basically, what's what a good idea is to if you're down under the water and you hear a boat or you see boats coming up close to you, it's follow your rig cord back up to the float. Yeah, that's uh, why. I head a up lot to of the, the times, the boaties will see the float but they don't know how long your rig cord is. You could be 15 to 25 metres at least on either yeah. side of the float and they, they might not be aware. That's so exactly follow, right. follow the rig cord back up to the float if you're under the water um, or even come up holding your spear gun uh, up in the air first. See, spear gun's the first thing to come out the water. That way uh, the boatie will then, if he hasn't seen you, if he doesn't know where you are, he'll definitely know where you are then and uh, it's a uh, safe going for everyone then and everyone can uh, enjoy the water. Yeah, that's right. That's a, that's a really good idea. So you buy the length of ski rope that you want, um, attach it to your clips, whatever, and you just easy, what you do, you get a cigarette lighter, you melt the end, just soften it up a bit there, just so that it doesn't, just so it holds together, just nip it up, make a bit of a point. Now you just loop it over, and with the ski rope, if you see, it's hollow in the middle, so you can actually push it like so. And as you see, it opens up, there's little gaps there. And what you do, you get however, how much length you want, and you, you go like so, and you just get the bit that you melted, so it's nice and hard now. And you just feed it through the hole of the ski rope like so, and you just push it through, and you see how it's feeding up the inside. And you just keep going, and there you have it. Now that's strong on its own like that, but if you want to make sure that it doesn't come undone, you can get some fishing line, tie fishing line, a bit of uh, thin copper wire, whatever, you know, it's all about improvising, you can saving use whack, money. Wax string as well.